our environment is a maze of interdependencies between chemistry, physics, biology, and human choice. The value of accurately predicting our environment is immeasurable. Gray supercomputers and advanced numerical models are used to make predictions imperative in day-to-day decision-making on issues ranging from weather forecasting and climate change to acid rain and toxic waste. The groundwork for today's environmental applications was established with the first large-scale computer systems and global weather models. As the systems and models evolved over time, the detail and accuracy of the forecasts improved as well. The European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts, or ECMWF, is one of many weather centers that have benefited from this evolution in supercomputer technologies. In October 1987, a storm with hurricane force winds devastated southern England and Wales. Medium range forecasts made previous to the landfall of the storm indicated a developing low pressure system. Later, when actual observations were available to validate the forecast, it was found that the intensity of this cyclone had been underdetermined. Two years later, Using a Cray supercomputer four times as powerful as the center's previous system, a higher resolution simulation of the 1987 storm was made. A direct result of this increased model resolution was more accurate predictions of surface winds, pressure patterns, and storm track predictions than previously resolved in such global simulations. The ECMWF global model also resolves regional features such as low-level winds, showing the onset, landfall, and dissipation of Hurricane Hugo. Other visible forecast features include a cold front sweeping across North America and a strong low pressure system in the North Atlantic. Resolution of these kinds of regional scale features in a global weather model is adding a new level of insight into how smaller scale phenomena interact with the Earth's large scale circulation. These better forecasts significantly reduce loss of life and property from severe weather events. A study by NCAR, the National Center for Atmospheric Research, illustrates some of the numerical techniques used in simulating regional atmospheric events. NCAR computed two models of the atmosphere. The first was a global circulation model using widely spaced grid points that allowed the collection and display of global conditions over an extended period of time. The second molecular region. Acid rain is a prime example of today's environmental issues and the concern of industry, government, and the public. Sulfur, nitrogen, and organic compounds combine in a dynamic mix of atmospheric, chemical, physical, and biological interaction. In the eastern United States, water in summer clouds is now 25 times more acidic than precipitation of two centuries ago. The Environmental Protection Agency estimates the cost to reduce emissions leading to acid rain will exceed $22 billion over the next decade. Researchers at the University of New York at Albany initially used a regional acid deposition model that solved equations for 24 chemical species at each of 5,400 grid points. The model took two hours of Cray XMP time for a three-day simulation. Today, researchers have enhanced the model, doubling the number of trace gases calculated at nearly four times the number of grid points. On a large Cray YMP supercomputer, this model runs at a billion calculations per second. Rapid verification of this model will provide government with a sound scientific basis to guide the formulation of new, cost-effective emission policies. A growing number of scientists are using supercomputers in oceanographic and hydrographic studies. In the San Francisco area, scientists are simulating tidal currents, redistribution of nutrient sediments and contaminants, and saltwater intrusion in the bay. This study uses a 500-meter grid with over 16,500 grid points to visualize the movement of water parcel tracers released from different locations over a six-day period. 
The results form building blocks that establish public water use policies and practices, leading to better management of these resources. In the Los Angeles area, government authorities spend over $300 million a year on air quality control. Yet the problem persists, a symbol of our compelling need for environmental answers. To understand the impact of air pollution in the Los Angeles Basin, researchers have used a supercomputer to create three-dimensional simulations of ozone and carbon monoxide concentrations and air transport. The simulations take into account rates of emission, reactive chemistry, and the effects of wind and weather over a three-day period. The computational model used to develop the predicted pollution fields has a horizontal mesh resolution at five kilometers, variable vertical grid spacing, and concentration calculations for 50 chemical species. Results from these studies have helped officials make decisions regarding the content of the new Clean Air Act. Study results have also been used by the South Coast Air Quality Management District as part of its air quality management strategy. The cost of computer time needed to test alternative pollution control strategies is minuscule in comparison with the price of making a poor decision. Weather forecasting. Climate change. Acid rain. Transport mechanisms. Remediation, air pollution, urgent problems demand powerful solutions.